Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. รายการในวันนี้จะนำเสนอเป็นภาษาอังกฤษด้วยคำบรรยายในภาษาอาหรับเอาหลักที่รู้จักกันว่าเวียดนามบังกาเรียจีนเชกอังกฤษฝรั่งเศสเยอรมันฮินดีฮังการีอินโดนีเซียญี่ปุ่นเกาหลีมาลายูมองโกเลียเปอร์เชียโปแลนด์โปรตุเกสโรมาเนียรัสเซียสเปนและไทยขอทักทายอย่างเบิกบานใจค่ะท่านผู้ชมที่มีหัวใจอันอบอุ่นฉันชื่อพมพัสสอนจากสลับบุรีประเทศไทยที่น่าติดตึงใจประเทศไทยเป็นประเทศที่เต็มไปด้วยสิ่งน่าอัศจรรย์และน่าชะงนที่ราบสูงที่ลึกลับทางตอนเหนือได้รับพระพรด้วยบริเวณพื้นที่มหาศาลที่เป็นป่าดึกดำบันและน้ำตกที่งดงามทิวทัศน์ท้องทะเลอันน่าทึ่งทางใต้มีหาดทรายที่ยืดยาวออกไปไม่รู้จบท่ามกลางหมู่เกาะหลายร้อยเกาะภูเก็ตและพัทยาเป็นที่นิยมในวันหยุดพักผ่อนของครอบครัวและแน่นอนกรุงเทพมหานครที่ไม่เคยหลับและมีชีวิตชีวาเต็มไปด้วยสิ่งที่น่าตื่นเต้นประเทศไทยมีชื่อเสียงในเรื่องผลไม้เขตร้อนที่อุดมสมบูรณ์และอาหารที่มีกลิ่นหอมยังเป็นประเทศที่ส่งออกข้าวที่ใหญ่ที่สุดในโลกด้วยโดยมากกว่า11ล้านตันที่ได้ส่งออกในปีคศ2017ในฐานะที่เป็นประเทศพุทธปูชนียสถานและวัดนับไม่ถ้วนปกป้องและให้ความสงบสุขแก่ชาวไทยที่มีมิตรไมตรีและอบอ้อมอารีรู้สึกเป็นเกียรติที่จะมาแบ่งปันให้เห็นแวบหนึ่งของประเทศไทยดินแดนแห่งรอยยิ้มกับท่านเราขออธิษฐานต่อพุทธะทั้งหลายขอให้ทุกขณะของท่านเป็นเวลาที่มหัศจรรย์กว่าสามทศวรรษท่านอนุตรจารย์ชิงไห่ได้ทำให้โลกของเราสว่างสวยัยด้วยคำสอนจากสวรรค์ของท่านอาจารย์ผู้รู้แจ้งอย่างสมบูรณ์ท่านถ่ายทอดการทำสมาธิวิถีกวนอิ่มสู่กลุ่มคนที่ปาถนาจะค้นพบธรรมชาติของพระเจ้าภายในในทันทีและเพื่อบรรลุหลุดพ้นจากสังสารวัตรชั่วนิรันดร์ในชาติเดียววิถีกวนอิ่มเป็นที่ปฏิบัติกันโดยศาสดาผู้รู้แจ้งทุกพระองค์เช่นพระพุทธเจ้าพระเยซูคริสต์ศาสดามูฮัมหมัดขอสันติสุขจงมีแด่ท่านและคุลุนานักท่านเน้นย้ำว่าถ้าเราจดจำพระเจ้าเสมอรับใช้ผู้อื่นอย่างไร้ตัวตนและทำตามกฎจักรวาลเราจะเข้าถึงศักยภาพสูงสุดของมนุษย์และจะเข้าใจจุดมุ่งหมายของเราบนโลกอย่างแท้จริงท่านอนุตรจารย์ชิงไห่เป็นตัวอย่างพิเศษที่ยังคงอยู่ของความเมตตา
ท่านส่งความช่วยเหลือด้านวัตถุและการเงินและความรักอยู่เสมอให้กับผู้ลี้ภัยผู้ไร้บ้านเยื่อภัยพิบัติธรรมชาติและงานบรรเทาทุกอื่นๆที่จำเป็นในคศ2006ท่านได้รับรางวัลสันติภาพกูซี่และได้รับการพิจารณาเข้ารับรางวัลโนเบลสาขาสันติภาพแห่งตะวันออกและได้รับเกียรติตลอดหลายปีที่ผ่านมาด้วยรางวัลอื่นๆมากมายและรางวัลสำหรับการกระทำที่ใจบุญมีมนุษยธรรมอันโดดเด่นของท่านเสียงที่แท้จริงสำหรับเพื่อนสัตว์ที่งดงามของเราท่านส่งเสริมการทานอาหารจากพืชที่สงบสุขและเปี่ยมด้วยรักและจินตนาการว่ามวลมนุษยชาติตื่นขึ้นรับรู้ถึงความศักดิ์สิทธิ์ของทุกชีวิตโลกทั้งโลกเป็นวีแกนที่สงบสุขและลุ่งโลดเป็นโลกที่สัตว์และคนใช้ชีวิตด้วยความปองดอกผาสุขการลิเริ่มเพื่อเผยแพร่แนวทางวีแกนของท่านมีหลากหลายรวมถึงการแจกใบปลิวทางเลือกใหม่ในการดำรงชีวิตเครือข่ายร้านอาหารวีแกนนานาชาติเลิฟวิงฮัตโทรทัศน์สุธีมาสเตอร์และการพูดคุยกับรัฐบาลและผู้นำสื่อที่มีอิทธิพลอยู่เป็นประจำและการเข้าร่วมการประชุมที่ถ่ายทอดทางโทรทัศน์เรื่องการเปลี่ยนแปลงภูมิอากาศไม่ว่าเราจะรับรู้มันหรือไม่ความพยายามของท่านมีอิทธิพลอย่างมากต่อความตื่นตัวทั่วโลกเกี่ยวกับวิถีชีวิตที่เป็นมิตรกับสัตว์และหนทางแห่งเมตตานี้สามารถนำสันติสุขอันยืนยาวมาสู่ประเทศต่างๆในขณะที่ปกป้องโลกของเราจากการเปลี่ยนแปลงภูมิอากาศท่านอนุตราจารย์ชิงไห่ได้เดินทางทั่วโลกนานหลายปีตั้งแต่ทวีปอเมริกาถึงแอฟริกายุโรปถึงหมู่เกาะโอชิเนียในแปซิฟิกและจัดปาตักคาถาหนายร้อยครั้งกับสาธารณชนและสิทธิ์ของท่านในหัวข้อจิตวิญญาณต่างๆหลายหัวข้อวันนี้เราได้รับพระพรที่จะนำเสนอบรรยายธรรมที่ลึกซึ้งเรื่องหนึ่งชื่อว่าสวรรค์กำลังมาถึงเร็วขึ้นกว่าที่เราคิดตอนที่หนึ่งของสี่ตอนในระหว่างอาจารย์และลูกศิษย์ให้ไว้ในภาษาอังกฤษในวันที่สามเมษายน2012ฝรั่งเศสอ่าเขาจะบอกซานตาคลาสบักแต่ยูโน่ไม่มีเค้กในกระเป๋าอย่าไปนึกถึงเลยมันแค่เครื่องเครื่องและโทรศัพท์มันไม่สามารถใช้ได้เลยเครื่องอะไรจะทำถ้ามันใช้เครื่องเครื่องไม่ใช้เครื่องเครื่องไม่ใช้เครื่องเครื่องไม่ใช้เครื่องเครื่องไม่ใช้เครื่องเครื่องไม่ใช้เครื่องเครื่องไม่ใช้เครื่องเครื่องไม่ใช้เครื่องเครื่อง She she has bigger houses than I do, <laughs> many rooms, yeah, and many houses, yes. Oh, she's a very simple woman. She's simple lady. She just need a lot of keys <laughs> for the palace. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you. How many new one today? Raise hands. Uh, wow. 
Oh, new one today. Oh, new one. Welcome, welcome home. Welcome home. And uh, welcome all ho- upstairs, all people. <laughs> oh, you're not that old, are you? I'm sorry I had to sit up there, but better than nothing. <laughs> better than outside, huh? Outside, can they see? Outside, do they have a uh, television system or not? Yes. In the yard, they can see also? Yes. Okay, hello, yards, people. <laughs> <laughs> that makes them happy, yes. That we have, haven't forgotten them, hmm? Well, uh, there are some uh, Westerners. You can come down here and sit if you want. Yeah? Always squeeze up there. Such a long legs and small area. <laughs> long legs and, and short room, huh? Poor thing. You can squeeze that uh, here. Honey, can you please do my favor? Put that on top of that. And for the first up, up, up for me to cut a little bit, they like it, they like it that way, even though it, I don't know what to make a difference. Yeah, down, down, uh, down this way, honey, this way, so you can put your legs, yeah, and that one on top of that one, yeah, and that one also, <laughs> both of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm going on that one first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like it, you know, you guys like it, that I beat up the tent. <laughs> Put up here, behind there. And if uh, one person can sit there, if, if it's a small person. <laughs> yeah, then put that one on top of that one, and put that one uh, on top of that one. <laughs> no, 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 you cannot turn around. Like that? Okay. Push in more inside. Is it possible? Okay, okay, is it safe? Yeah. I'll put that on top of that if it goes. Lucky I don't have a grocery here. <laughs> oh. Okay, good. And you push this one in there. Yeah, and somebody can sit there. Yeah, maybe you can sit there if you want. Uh, small guy better. Uh, chocolate, you want to sit here? <laughs> no, never mind. I'm afraid you don't have the translation, so you sit. You okay? Okay. Uh, if you're uncomfy, you sit here in front of the guys. At the moment, I believe you're both guys. <laughs> when I'm here, you have no, no preference. You know, guys or not guys, it's the same guys, yeah? Hey, guys, it's fun today wearing all this stuff. <laughs> Someday I feel fed up, but today I feel okay. Yeah, I can bear it. Yeah, not too bad, is it? Uh, yeah, it's cute, huh? What? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Mm, yeah. Hair and yeah, yeah, but you've seen it before. I have uh, Nothing new, I keep recycling. <laughs> How do you make your eyelashes so beautiful? <laughs> Mascara. Mascara, I can do so long. Mm. Oh, God. You have press conference there, madam? <laughs> She's struggling. Help her, please. Help her. <laughs> From where? From Hungarian, that's a, that's a why you don't understand English, eh? Yes. <laughs> so so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I yesterday I was came coming home and thinking of your hug and stuff. Did you hug any guys today or any girl? No. I hugged Marcella. Yeah, the sister, the Czech sister, the blonde translator. Where is she? She's gone. <laughs> so I gave her a hug. Oh, before she go, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, people. Guys, are. no. Yeah, they don't really like hugging too much. I would not advise you to hug any of the guys here, yeah? Besides, you never know if he's married or not, you know, or have a girlfriend somewhere, and then you women have a little bit of conflict. You see, they come here already very difficult for men to come. You see how little men are? Yeah, because mostly they have to stay home and work for their wives to come here, (laughs) or not come here, yeah? Uh, <laughs> uh, she controls all the money, by the way, so if he wants to come here, it's uh, have to have a li- lot of diplomatic connection and negotiation. Do you understand that or you don't understand that? No, because you're not married yet. Wait until you're married, you will understand the system. <laughs> they told us that this is a male society. I have believed nothing of that. <laughs> I think some of your brothers, you know, married, yeah? 
and uh, I don't know, they become, I don't know, different than when they were younger, you know, like, uh, I don't know, not so go get her anymore <laughs> because the wife takes care of everything and spoils them rotten. <laughs> So if I ask them to do something, they say, oh, maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even know if we continue to live the next moment. You know, everything we have to do, we do now. Hmm? Especially when it's not late. Oh, when Even for dog food, I say, please go get some dog's food and bring here for the dog. And he didn't bring it. He, he said, oh, maybe uh, tomorrow or after tomorrow. I said, how about you? If I tell you to eat tomorrow or after tomorrow, <laughs> would you be okay with that? I said, oh, in that case, no, not really, Master, no. <laughs> and why, why for dogs? It's like, I can't believe it. And then when I asked some of the people, why, you know, why your brother like that? He said, oh, their wives, uh, you know, uh, spoil them too much. That's why. Okay, wives, don't spoil your husbands too much like that. And he become like a zom zom. <laughs> zombie, okay? I don't want to say zombie, so I get zom zom. Ah, you understand? Yes? Of course, the husband go out working, you know, and then go home. Uh, the wife control all the money. So in that case, I would be spoiling my husband. If <laughs> it would be easier to spoil, huh? Yeah, you control everything. And then give him just a few dollars every day to go out just for coffee or something, that's it, nothing more. <laughs> I remember my sister also do like that to my brother-in-law when I was younger. I didn't understand why, but that's why it works. And it works well. <laughs> it works all the time, everywhere. No? Yes? See that? Huh? <laughs> and, and the husband is very happy with it. Yeah. <laughs> I also don't understand either, but it's the way it works and it works all the time. All, all the wives have to do is just say, Honey, <laughs> I'm going to see Master, okay? <laughs> of course, okay, right? Of course, okay, right. <laughs> you, you see, men, you are a little bit silly. You should do the same like woman, then you get everything you want. Sissy sassy a little bit. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Nobody looks at home. Nobody looks at you and her. So who cares? Who cares how you act? You go to her if you want to come see Master. Honey, I need some money. <laughs> I love you so dearly, but I want to see the Master. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, <laughs> you let them taste... The same medicine. <laughs> yes, otherwise, you know, they're just too smart. We women are too smart. We outsmart men all the time. And they think they're tough and they are in charge and they're on top of everything. Yeah? Yeah, it's funny, you know. <laughs> the more sissy sassy, the better. <laughs> the better the relationship. <laughs> no? Yes or no? <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I, I've forgotten what it's like. <laughs> Listen to your mama who, who has no husband for a long time. <laughs> yeah, but it's like that, no? No, I learned it from, from a woman disciple, you know? They told me the tricks. <laughs> yeah, even if I have forgotten, they told me, and I remember. No, but I, I never had to play like that with my former husband. I don't remember playing anything. <laughs> He's the one who's very affectionate and always, you know, go and get me, but I'm always cool, you know, <laughs> not doing much, really, yeah. Maybe I wasn't very uh, interested in marriage, that's why. Maybe I was too young or maybe I was elsewhere, you know, my heart, my thinking, my mind elsewhere. Yeah, I don't remember Sissy Sassy ever. Yeah, no need, <laughs> we were okay. Yeah, but uh, one time, you know, I was long, 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 long time ago when I first began this job, eh? this business. <laughs> no, one sister of yours from Brazil eh? uh, uh, accompanied me from Brazil to the other countries in uh, South America. And I said, how come you can go such a long, 
long journey for uh, a long time. Your husband didn't say anything. He just let you go. He said, yeah, he just let me go. I say, no complaint. Huh? You just ask, and he say, okay. He say, just sissy a little bit, and then he okay everything. <laughs> <laughs> I say, how you do that? He say, lang uto ma. Me let me go, huh? <laughs> just like that. <laughs> you know, I hug, hug your style, and then talking like that, and then all the husbands all soft like a cooked noodle. <laughs> Like a boy's spaghetti, and they do everything. Yes. So this is a this is a, this is a lot of uh, yin and yang, huh? Ah, the soft winds always, huh? You see the water, huh? So soft and no form, nothing, but but it uh, even uh, move mountains and destroy rocks, yeah. I was before I had stayed in a cave, you know, right? Long time ago, huh? That cave uh, was made by just water. Yeah. It was like a mountain like this, yeah? And then there was some, like, sometime the mountain had the slope like this, and all the water from the mountain run into that slope. And then they go into the cave area. There was no cave before. And I saw that the pattern of the water keeps still running in there, you see? It keeps eating, eating up the rocks, and then it forms a cave like that, like this. Yeah, very, very big. Two, three, four hundred sit there, no problem. There's no entrance, though. It's just a long, very long ranch like this, and the roof is like a, like a long corridor with a roof on top. But it's pretty warm, I told you already. Because outside of the mouth, outside of the roof of the cave, I put a bucket of water, and it became ice. But inside, the water stay liquid. Yeah? It's such a difference, just a few meters difference between the inside the cave, under the roof, or outside the roof. <laughs> it's funny. That's why many of the practitioners, they stay in a Gave to meditate, huh? It was very uh, nice to hear you said what you said because I just realized it's very simple and it's just about about realizing what's going on for the other person. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's good. And and also that, that it's fine that we're all the same and we mm. we all want the same things. It's just yeah, just thinking about the other person where they're at at that moment. That's right. That's right. Think about the other person. You never know, eh? What the problem do they have, huh? Or maybe they're also afraid like you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Don't hug men. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Never? Not even friends? Or what? <laughs> yeah, your friend at home, private. Okay, here, yeah, they don't no, want... No, of course, my friends. I don't go hugging all the people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, friends. Uh, I'm okay with smiling, too. I think it's more about being free to yes. express it rather than, than not being able to express my love, which is what, what makes me sad. Yeah, I understand, but, you know, they come here not to be expressed yeah, or yeah, too pressed. They yeah. just like to be quiet for a few days. That is the problem, okay? It's just like uh, here they come only for a few days and they just want to focus more on the meditation and inner realization. And besides their wife or their girlfriend, maybe next door, you don't even know it. <laughs> they worry about things, yes? And you see how difficult it is for male to come already here. Hmm? See how many women we have everywhere, upstairs, downstairs, in the yard, the same stuff. <laughs> we overpower them. They're scared to death already. <laughs> <laughs> so they're a little bit shy also, eh? Understand? Shy. Some men are very shy and reserved. Maybe because somebody hugged them before and they had problem afterward, you know? Yeah, who knows? You know, like something unpleasant happened to them. So they don't want to do it again, you know. Just like if you're heartbroken once, it's difficult for you to open your heart again and love freely, like before, and like that. Everyone is different, honey. Yeah, okay. Everyone different. Yes. Don't worry about it. Uh, we get misunderstood all the time. We women, we're too free and too affectionate, and we're just too simple, too. 
How do you say? Uh, we say what we think. Yes. And if we don't know, we say we don't know. Mm. For men, difficult to even say they don't know, even if they don't know. It's <laughs> 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 very difficult for them to express affection, you know? Mm. But this is good like that, so also. Otherwise, they, they express their affection everywhere, and then their wife will not be happy. And <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, mostly women, when they hug, they just hug. See what I mean? Like loving and affectionate. Don't feel nothing much and don't think much. Oh, feel love or feel joy, that's it, you know? But men, they don't only feel that, they feel something else. <laughs> this, is, this is a problem of the universe. <laughs> Please do understand them and don't blame them, okay? Yeah. All right. Thanks for your explanation. It's beautiful how you, how you understand everyone's perspective, not only in this, but in, in everything you explain. I'm just trying to be on the other person's shoes. Yeah, yeah. you know, like both sides of the story. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Because I also have been misunderstood a lot. A lot and a lot. Yeah? Mm. So I understand everything. <laughs> it's good that I have been misunderstood so that I can understand other people when they are, when they are misunderstood. Okay? So maybe you had to learn that lesson also. Hmm? Okay, and later you understand other people, why they reacted this way and that way, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, you can never learn enough. And when you're done with learning, then it's just time to go to <laughs> the other planet. <laughs> All our wisdom are lay, laying waste. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? Uh, you want to ask me something or tell me something? Nice stuff. <laughs> Good news. Good news from you. What the for a change? Let her, let her <laughs> quickly before before I change to not good news. Um, Martin, from where? Africa. Yes, I forgot to tell you that our um, health minister in South Africa is busy. Um, she wants to ban all advertising of alcohol, mm -hmm. and um, she's busy good. documenting it now. They obviously can still debate about it, so it's not yet finalized. Oh. But she's quite adamant that she wants it banned. Yeah. And cigarette smoking is already banned, so yes. they can't advertise in the movie houses or magazines or on billboards or anything like that. So ban smoking altogether or ban advertising? No, advertising altogether. Oh. Smoking is banned in restaurants, for instance, oh. um, in public places, like oh. all the soup, the shopping centers. You oh. can't. You're not allowed to smoke in there either. Oh, very nice. Um, I and like her. <laughs> yeah, there is actually a new law that um, within uh, 50 meters, you're not allowed to smoke in a public place, mm. but they haven't enforced that yet. Oh. But it is actually a law. And yeah. then now that the, the um, alcohol things come about, so that'll be really good. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. The whole South Africa? Yes. Sir. Wow, that's a big, big place, eh? big country. Wonderful. I like that. I wish even the, uh, the European <laughs> learn from South Africa. Yeah. Benefits of alcohol bans. Stroke risk reduced by 50% by quitting smoking and restricting alcohol consumption, along with more exercise and higher fruit and vegetable intake. Researchers in Spain find that alcohol-free beer reduces cholesterol levels, along with other potential heart benefits without any of the risks associated with alcohol consumption. Financial savings. A Canadian study estimates alcohol intervention programs could save 880 lives and 1 billion US dollars every year. Mortality. A 10% decline in vodka sales resulted in a significant decrease in alcohol-related deaths in Russia in one year. Exercising, drinking less alcohol, eating fruits and vegetables, and not smoking extends life expectancy by 14 years. Cancer. A World Cancer Research Fund study finds reducing meat and alcohol consumption decreases cancer risk. Other illnesses. The brain's regeneration and performance are increased once alcohol consumption ceases. Alcoholic hepatitis patients can gain complete recovery if the patient gives up alcohol and has a good diet. 
Bodybuilding.com states that bodybuilders who refrain from alcohol consumption experience benefits in terms of muscle gain, hydration, recovery, metabolism, and mental focus. Social implications. A New Zealand liquor ban resulted in 98% less liquor offenses as well as a reduction in other crimes. Research in New Mexico, USA shows that Sunday bans on alcohol sales resulted in fewer collisions and traffic casualties. Alcohol-related crimes dropped by 15% following an alcohol ban in Aberystwyth, UK. An alcohol ban becomes permanent on the jetty area of Coffs Harbour City, Australia, due to its success in reducing crime. Youth. In the U.S. state of Florida, raising the legal drinking age from 18 to 21 significantly reduced auto accident-related fatalities. A voluntary ban of alcohol sales to youth under 21 in the U.K.'s Marsk Village is made permanent as crime and antisocial behavior is reduced. An alcohol ban in U.S. colleges helps overall alcohol abstention and reduces bouts of drunkenness and secondhand effects of drinking. Plus more. For more information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash harms dash benefits dash flyer. Yeah, good. Wonderful. Yeah, I remember when I was in South Africa for a lecture, remember guys? Yes. And they really treated me well. I have never experienced all my career up to now, that all the newspapers, all the medias are really writing nice things about me. <laughs> yeah, it's never happened anywhere else in so-called civilized country. <laughs> but South African at that time, radio, TV, newspapers, everywhere just wrote all good things about me and they didn't even know me much. I've been there only the first time. Um, Master, even now, recently with COP17, the media also wrote very nicely about you. Uh, COP17, oh, they did. Yes, yeah, yes, I have seen some. I've seen some. Uh, they sent me some article, but not all, and just one or two, and I didn't have so much time to read all. Yeah. Even the Business Day, which is a very big business newspaper, very popular amongst the business community, yes. they actually had a very good article there as well, and quite a big one too, about oh, really? Master and the organization and the vegan diet. Ah, wonderful. Isn't that good? Maybe we should all move to our South Africa and then <laughs> no problem. How long can I stay there? Um, Master, I think you can stay there um Three to six months, but I'm not sure yeah. without a visa. Yes, normally it's like yeah. that everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But if I get married to a South African, I can stay. You can stay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I go there and find somebody, fall in love, and then marry or something. Okay. It seems like a good place. <laughs> the weather is certainly good. It is good yeah. people there, huh? The, we the weather and the people. Actually, the people are very loving, Master. The people generally are really very loving. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I believe, I believe. Mm. I didn't hear much about crime or anything. It's got better, Master. It has yeah. improved over the years. Okay, and any other good news? <laughs> yes. Yeah, good news. Tell me. Oh, it's even matching my clothes of flower. <laughs> Tell me. I live in Australia, but I am from Colombia. Oh, you are. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. In in Australia, it's uh, banned to uh, smoke in any public uh, place. Already? Yes, oh. nobody can smoke in any restaurant, in any, public any place. cafe, oh. any hospital, oh. any uh, school. Wonderful. Bless yeah. your government. And also they start doing um, vegetable garden in uh, schools, in uh, community centers. And they teach the people how to do the bio veg, huh? yes, oh, compost, oh, yes. oh, the bio um, stuff. Even uh, yes, um, all the neighbors uh, met together, and they found a place to make the garden. So it's uh, encouraged to uh, they get get people closer. Yeah. So um, they are trying to. Um, My community, yes, yeah. social yes. community. Closer. Very yeah. good idea. Very good idea. And must I'm very very grateful for the opportunity to be here 
really was like a miracle for me. Is it? Yes. Why? Just buy a ticket and go. What's a miracle? No, because I put my name and after they said no, I, I didn't get the approval. Nobody rejected you, just misunderstanding. You see, my house is so small. Everybody wants to come, so they have to yeah, first come, first serve. You see what I mean? Okay. But, uh, yeah, when they tell me it was no approval, but I said, well, still there is time. And so two weeks ago on Saturday, I was watching a master video for a retreat in Austria. And I feel in my head, oh, I want to be there, I want to be there. So when the video finished, the contact person called me, and she told me, um, it's going to be a new application. You want to apply? I said, oh, yes, of course. So the, on Sunday, I went to the meditation, and she, she said, gave okay. me the good news. Oh, okay. So thank, good for you. You. thank you very much. <laughs> it's okay. I want everyone to come. It's just sometimes the office cannot deal with the influx of the people. What a big mama and small house. <laughs> big mama and small house. <laughs> yes, it's never big enough. I am so sorry, but it's the way it is, huh? You know, mostly it's like that. You know, when any teacher or master alive, you know, they hardly have any room. They had to run around. But the next generation, when no master is there anymore, there would be big churches, big temples. Yeah. That's like that. <laughs> so if you want to have a bigger place and you you don't die so quick, you wait until a long time after <laughs> after I pass away, then probably you have a lot of room. Yeah, somewhere. Who knows? Anywhere, maybe. Anywhere. Maybe everywhere. Yeah? And also when I drive around here, you know, it takes... We also have to thank the driver every day taking me two hours to bring me here and back. Yes, uh, in, you know, sometime very late, any time, you know. I told you I can't stay here, you know, whenever I, I come, you know, to go through traffic and everything, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be patient, be patient everywhere we go. Whatever happens, we just have to comply with it, you know, cooperate with it and make the best out of it. The situation, yeah? Uh, some of the Taiwanese, your brother complained to me, you know, they don't like to sit uh, in the tent anymore. <laughs> and they like to let I buy them some big place and better place. And I say, oh, well, maybe later, <laughs> maybe later. I'm sorry also that they have to come and sit under the big sky, but it's the best thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> when it rains, of course, it's a little bit of the asshole, <laughs> the, the French, <laughs> French pronunciation. <laughs> they don't say hustle, they say asshole. <laughs> this is an asshole. <laughs> Excuse my French, huh, you gen <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> ladies? <laughs> yeah. It's not true. You ask any French guy who pronounce a hustle, and then he will say, it's an asshole, of course. Ça va pas, no, hey. It's the truth. <laughs> the truth, yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, actually, you know, um, all of the uh, authority system should realize, you know, more spiritual value than just always about uh, commercial value, eh? Yes. Because if if a city, if, even if allow us to come, you know, thousands of people come all the time, also bring a lot of, you know, uh, nice atmosphere to the small town and have a lot of uh, uh, attraction, huh? <laughs> And uh, if we are there, we also buy stuff, ne? We buy uh, from grocery and supermarket, then we also have more income. Mm -hmm. And also transportation, uh, bus and train, taxi, everything also a little bit adding to their income of the locals. 
especially when the uh, economy is uh, very stagnant right now. Hey, yeah. Okay, so let's see which city is the lucky one next, huh? After this, after all the asshole here, I mean, <laughs> asshole here. <laughs> Maybe we have a different asshole elsewhere, huh? Better one. <laughs> The French, they don't pronounce age. It's all um, no, no, no voice. Hotel. Hmm? <laughs> Understand? I say hotel, the hotel. <laughs> Not hello, but allo. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, uh, I don't know, where is the Swiss person? Where is she? She gone? She gone home? Yeah, she, I think so. she's not here. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I think so. Oh, never mind. We will try. We, whatever available, we try. Okay? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure if Switzerland is good for us or not. I told you already, huh? <laughs> I told you. I told you. You know, when uh, Confucius was alive, six countries at that time even rejected him. Six countries in China. Mm. And when Jesus was alive, huh, you know, he has to keep hiding and running for his life. Huh? And when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he also had to run for his life all the time, and his disciples also. And then now they have big mosques, you know. <laughs> Millions of people go there to pay homage to the Master who is already gone. And during his lifetime, None treated him nicely, yeah, decently. The same with the Baha'i faith, yeah? When the Master was alive, they even imprisoned him and making trouble. And now look at how many adherents, how big temples and churches they built after. Jesus suffered so much, and now they have big churches everywhere, and it's all over the, the world. And when the Master was alive, he has nowhere to even lay his head. Hmm? Now he keep running, you know, until he was caught. <sighs> Exposed by his own disciple. Hmm? But this is not the first time in history. It happens all the time. Uh, so uh, what was it? Uh, what was it that we're talking about? Yeah, we, we, at least we are very lucky. Okay, I'm telling you all that, but uh, to, to, to let you know, to value your seat, it's only, uh, I don't know, half, uh, a quarter of uh, meters uh, wide, but that's a very, it's, um, value in gold, you know that? <laughs> when you could even sit here, yes, and alive, yes? Yeah, then we are very lucky already. Yeah, okay? Yeah, very lucky. <laughs> it's funny always that human always revere the dead, <laughs> but not the living. Huh? Mm. Even sometimes we forget to visit our parents. Yeah, but when they die, we visit the tomb all the time and sweep in it and put flour on it. They don't even see anymore. I put food also, eh? Yeah, the Asian people, they bring food to the dead. But when the parents are alive, maybe they don't visit that much. Understand? Yes. Visit your parents, feed them, treat them well when they're still alive. Hmm? Otherwise, after they lay down under one square meter, they don't care anymore. They don't need you anymore. Not just parents, but I mean your friends, your relatives, yes, your acquaintance, neighbors, yeah, love thy neighbors. <laughs> love thy enemies as well, <laughs> if you even know who your enemies are. <laughs> yeah, because you're so happy with your enemies that <laughs> you won't even know. Mostly you don't know. <laughs> Good so. Is the way karma works. So you have to love each other to iron out the difference in the past life. Understand? Hmm. That's what it is. Be happy with your enemies at home or your friends at home. Very rarely you marry a friend or you have a girlfriend who was a friend. 
Because if you are friends, and mostly you don't have to work out anymore, the karma anymore. So love your enemies is like that. Okay? Really, Jesus was right. <laughs> love your enemies. So try to love them now. Okay? To finish it off, the karma. <laughs> Happy or not? <laughs> yeah. What? You again? <laughs> no, it's okay. Just what you're saying. I noticed that sometimes I've I've fallen in love, and once I already love that person very much, they they leave and they disappear. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they don't want to know anything more about me. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's why, because the karma for for my side, it's already mm -hmm. it's maybe. Already because I really love them. I yeah. don't know. Maybe it's like that, <laughs> yes. And then you suffer a little bit also after that. Of course. Yes, and then that also cleans your karma with that person, whoever that may be. Oh, the heartbreak. The, the, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe you broke the heart in former life, or maybe they broke yours, and then they come back, break it again, but because you love them, so it's erased the, you know, enmity between you. Okay, so yes. I just see it as a, as a positive... Yeah, it's not always your fault that the person hurts you. It might be even his fault. Uh, history repeats itself again and again. Uh, the reason why we bump into enemies a lot in this world because this is the world of conflict. You understand? It's not paradise. If, if, if this world is a paradise or if you are in paradise then you will only meet friends because that's, that's where all friendliness are. This world is all the people who are not friendly with each other. Most of the time, I don't, in a majority of time, I don't say that it's not. But you see, that's why we have conflict. We have wars, we have famine, we have trouble. We have disasters, you see. This world is a world so. Beings come here to iron out their past uh, enmity or mistakes. They redeem it here, if they even remember to. That's, that's why uh, some marriage are not happy, or relationships are not happy, and people just bear it and try to work it out or not try to work it out, you see, all the time. Hmm? Look around you, it's mostly like that. Yes. Uh, yeah, if, 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 some, if somebody hates each other in the past, they have to come back as lovers or families, members, in order to redeem it, okay? To love, so that to uh, erase the past um, enemies, atmosphere and energy within them and that they have created within the atmosphere also. Have to erase it by love. Hmm? Love is the only solution <laughs> to all the problems. So be happy that He leaves you. Yeah. I mean, you're done, you're okay. <laughs> Ready for next challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have many, you know. So some people are envious of the, the man who is rich or something who has many girlfriends and all that. Ah, you don't know. <laughs> There's nothing to be envied about. Hmm? Yes. And most of marriage, when it works well, is that both sides have to work very hard to keep it. You know that or not? Any experience like that? Raise hand for me. Yeah. Only uh, four or five people, and the rest happy marriage. Yeah, it's true. Happy single. Happy single. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I know that, but I'm not your partner, you know. Maybe you're lonely, you need a man or something. <laughs> hmm? Well, if you're single, also very good. Yeah, if you can bear it, that's fine, that's fine. When we were young, you know, and if our boyfriends or husband loved us, we tend to take it for granted. And sometimes we, we do not appreciate it. But when we get older, we understand yeah, the value of love and family, then uh, it's too late. <laughs> yeah, most of the people are already taken. Hmm? How old are you now? Can I ask? You just whisper in my ears. <laughs> One? Oh, not much. It's still pretty young. Life only begins. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's the best time of a woman's life, you know, full <laughs> bloom. Yes. A fellow initiate from Colorado, she's actually from Colombia, uh -huh. wanted me to relay this information to you that she really loves you very much and she really wanted to come. She even bought her ticket, but she couldn't come because of visa problems. What so, problem? Visa. A visa? Yeah. From Colombo? And uh, uh, Mongolia. Mongolia has problem coming here? Well, she's in Colorado. And uh, there's no Mongolian consulate in Denver. Oh, she man. even flew to San Francisco, and they turned her away. Oh, because San Francisco office is not in charge of the Colorado. Oh, so. oh what is she doing in Colorado? Is she American citizen, green card, anything? Uh, she's permanent resident. Permanent resident, and why cannot she go? She could get, but not in Colorado. So she made uh, the mistake of going to San Francisco. Still don't still cannot. Up. Yeah. <sighs> Telling you. So she, you know, she just wanted me to. Protocol. Remember. Protocol is terrible. I'm so sorry. Tell her I'm really sorry, and my heart really feel bad for her. I understand very well. It must feel terrible. And she has never seen you before. Oh, it must have felt terrible. It has never seen me even. Oh, it must have felt terrible. <sighs> it must have felt terrible for her. It must have felt terrible. It must be like heartbreaking. Tell you, this world is, is not perfect. I don't know why <laughs> the law is supposed to be for people, not people for the law. I told you, but... Until we get there, we still have a lot of work to do. Mm? Tell her I'm truly sorry. And her, hus her husband is not an initiate, so she has that other you know, issue there. That's another area that she has to oh. work on. Okay. Already obstacle and another obstacle. Yeah, another. Ah, tell, her. Ah, tell you what, can you give her this? Oh. Oh, she'll be from so me. Happy, oh, I don't know what else to give. <laughs> Tell her I love her very much. Oh, she I, I will wrap it a little bit more, honey. Okay, I'll wrap it. I'll wrap it up. Tell her I love her very much. Hmm? Mucho, mucho. Con mucho amor. And here, you give her this. Aww. I'm very sorry. So many stories similar from China also. Or from maybe Vietnam or other country. Many countries have still a little struggle problem, eh? Mm. But she has already, um, I would say, permanent resident in America. Then couldn't the American consulate help her? If she flies to the right state, uh -huh. she would be able to get it. What state then? Um, like Chicago. Oh. Or Los Angeles. Oh, yes. But she had already flown to San Francisco. San Francisco is next to Los Angeles. Yeah, Why didn't she go there? But she didn't know, you know. Oh, she didn't know, and then she uh, returned already. To fly to oh, okay. LA but it's too much. It's too much. Her best understand, to understand, to understand. Yeah, probably also money will run out, you know, and husband will not understand why she run around the world like that. Yeah. Okay, sorry. What to do? Thank you, you, Master. You're welcome. Want to say something, anybody? Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I just wanted to share, um, my feet get cold a lot, and I did a lot of research to try and find something to replace my wool socks. Mm -hmm. I've been wearing wool socks with holes in them for several years because I didn't want to replace them with something that wasn't vegan. Mm -hmm. And so for several years, I, I just kept saying, you know, God, there has to be something that's a natural fiber. And I finally found bamboo charcoal. Mm. And I found a, a report online, I think it was in... Did you wear it and don't hang it up? You know, no, I... I <laughs> 
I did wear it, but um, the, it, it apparently like it warms the skin more than wool. Yeah. And it and it actually like increases your circulation and uh-huh. your metabolism. Yeah. And they actually sell some like uh, they come in different uh, weights. They actually sell some in the in Shihu, uh, mm-hmm. the some thin ones that mm-hmm. are about two dollars. These ones are thicker. They're from uh, they're for. Uh, diabetics and I tested them and first they were like warm in California in the fall and then mm-hmm. I took them to where my parents live in Wyoming where it's um, it gets down to negative 40 degrees uh-huh. Celsius during the winter and so I, t- I gave a pair to my mother to my father and I wore them outside at 7 degrees Fahrenheit it was? yeah they work they're great so I just they're bamboo the, the brand I have is Increta Socks and um, they're the ones I have are the diabetic ones, which are super thick. But so, in case anybody wants to go vegan in their socks and is looking oh. for <laughs> some other something other than wool. Okay, okay. Oh, I don't know. They make wool socks. I normally wear cotton, cotton socks, thick cotton socks. Okay, now, right? thank you. It socks. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hi. Uh, you're talking about the uh, husband and wife relationship. Is it the same thing, the kids and the parents? Also, yes, yes. All relationship, not just husband and wife. Thank you. But just husband and wife is more solidified, you know? <laughs> and it's more, more typical hmm, of our fun story. Hmm? <laughs> oh, Master. Yeah. I just wanted to tell you about um, a chain of shops that have opened in Holland. They're like the same style as a butcher shop, a meat shop, but it's all vegan meat. Ah. And it looks like a butcher shop. Uh-huh. They've opened over 30 in the past year. They can't open them fast enough, it seems. Oh, really? And I thought if initiates can't open Loving Huts, maybe this could be another... Tr- yeah! Oh, wow. <laughs> Always good ideas. <laughs> Vegan butcher shop. Yeah, I don't like the word butcher shop, obviously. But How did they say there? Butcher, vegan no, butcher? No, 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 don't say that. I don't know the name of the chain yet. Actually, maybe someone in Holland or Belgium would know. Because you could open a little deli counter as well and sell yeah, vegan yeah, yeah. pizza, quiche, uh, lasagna, have a little, and vegan cheeses. Oh, it'd be yeah, great. Yeah, then... It's actually less work than a restaurant as well, I think. Okay, okay, maybe less work than a restaurant okay. and less capital, eh? Yeah. Yeah, because people will always go there and, yeah. you know, buy some... It, it's also, nice. dry fruit, yeah. food also, by the way. Yeah, it's You nice know, vegan texture it. stuff, soya texture stuff. Yeah. And selling soya sauce also, all kind of things, and noodles, yeah? Ah, that's wonderful. Yeah. I'm so happy. Any other ideas? Any other stuff? I've just got another good news. For, yeah. um, in Spain, there's a, su- a chain of supermarkets called Al Campo. And just before Christmas, they opened a huge deli section mm. of vegan, well, mostly vegetarian, unfortunately, but there is vegan also. Yes. Of absolutely everything, cheeses, sausages, burgers. And this is unusual for Spain, actually. Ah, right. yeah. And it's a huge section. It's not just like one and uh, one corner and it's six shelves and it goes all the length of that curtain oh. rail oh really it's, it's huge and oh. it's really encouraging to see that in spain oh wonderful yeah yeah people are getting better more smart smarter now mm. pretty good more good news hello master i would like to share uh, about several good news from china um because of the uh, consciousness elevation we, we do see a lot of trends going up in China and uh, even in the field of uh, animal protection. Mm. Uh, two stories. One, you know, it, it happened last year. Uh, the animal uh, protection volunteers, they tried to stop the cars transporting dogs and they successfully uh, rescued, oh. rescued all the dogs. In Beijing alone, they rescued over 700 wow. dogs in one go. Wow. And it becomes a popular event in China. Yeah, I heard and that. In Chongqing, another city uh, in around Sichuan area, and they have another similar event where people stopped uh, and rescued over 1,000 dogs. Phew, my God. So it's become very popular and also in the internet. One of the leading organizations in China that produces the uh, bear bile, uh, for traditional Chinese medicine, yes, they try to go public 
for two times, but failed because of the protection from the animal shelter, NGOs, mm -hmm. and even one of the animal found organized by some famous uh, journalists from the central television yeah. uh, of China. They organized, uh, they tried to collect uh, in very short time, uh, 72 signatures from all the famous people. Oh. from all walks of life, mm. and they deliver the letter officially to the Stock Exchange Committee mm -hmm. of China trying to stop the yeah. uh, IPO of uh -huh. that organization because they have... plan to expand the production from 400 moon bears now to over 1,200 if, if this... If it's approved? Yes. And uh, is it approved? No, because of the protection from the animal uh, NGOs and people on the internet, they failed. The, the government disapproved. Uh -huh. the good, IPOs good. Last the producer year. of these uh, buy, huh? Yes. Oh, wonderful. And this year they tried to go uh, public again, uh -huh. and even we see bigger protests. Oh. from the NGOs and on the internet and all the uh, people from all walks of life. Wonderful. And even the central television in China, they organize uh, very large-scale disputes Wonderful. several times. Yeah, yeah. So we, we do see the, the trend. And we, you know, uh, for many years, we don't see uh, the animal protection law in China. But mm -hmm. I, I personally do see the, the, uh, the hope. Uh -huh. the yes, serious yes. hope now. Yes. Maybe they will have it soon. Yes. yes. Master... I have heard one disciple say that uh, she saw that during the world meditation hours, the whole planet, the Earth planet, uh, just light, kind of just like uh, you turn on the light, uh -huh. and then, then uh, when it ends, then the light gradually goes down, and then when the next meditation hour, it you go comes, up again. Yeah, right. <laughs> and my question, uh, Master, you told us about. Um, the uh, peak meditation hour and the uh, merits you meditate in the um, spiritual spiritual blessing line or the uh, heaven portal. And my question is, um, does meditating during the world meditation hour has any extra merits or blessing? For whom? For you? Uh, I mean, for everyone. Of course, if you me you meditate, you always have merit. Hmm. Hmm. Any more? Here. Hi, Master. Um, in Vancouver, we opened a Loving Hut food cart, and it's uh, it's only five months old now, but it's it's doing really, really well. Oh, I'm glad for you. It's You're the owner. Director. Oh, okay. And it's in a it's in a very rich area, uh -huh. and uh, it's it's amazing to see the response. We don't like really like broadcast that it's vegan, mm -hmm. but. Um, you know, we can get almost everybody to at least try it. Uh -huh. You know, even if they find out it's vegan, we'll say, you know. How, how did uh, you do that? We'll give it to them free if they uh -huh. don't like it. Uh -huh. um, I see. Yeah. If they don't like it, it's free. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody go there, eat, and just say, I don't like. No, nobody. <laughs> then don't ever, need to pay. Nobody has ever, ever gotten their money back. No okay, money. I understand. <laughs> That's risky, yeah. Huh? I, I, and they come back and they're like, wow, you got us. It's, yeah. Uh, it's really, really good. Lovely. Lovely to hear. Congratulations. Lots of miracles have happened with that cart. Uh, the very first day that we opened, it was, um, it was a, a, a veggie festival going on. And we were so busy that we actually had to close. And because uh, we were just overwhelmed. <laughs> and we didn't want to like, uh, have anybody to have a bad experience. Mm -hmm. So we closed. And then we got our, ourselves together mentally, and then we're like, okay, let's try again. Mm -hmm. And we opened, and like two minutes later, um, a guy looked at me, and he's like, he's with his family, said, you're using our product. And I'm like, uh, which one is yours? He's like, Gardein. I'm, I'm the owner of Gardein. Mm, wow. Yeah, and Gardein is an amazing, amazing company. And it's oh, amazing. really? Yeah. In, in Canada? It's based in Vancouver, but it's huge in North America. Wow. Um, it's been fe featured on the Oprah Winfrey Show and the Ellen Show. And um, uh -huh. and he's, this guy is like a mad genius. And uh, he, he looked at me and said, what can I do for you? Wow. Yeah. And so I asked him, I said, I'd love to be able to buy from you directly. And he's like, done. Yeah. He's like, we'll give you a cheap price. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, very beautiful. They invited us to their factory. They took us through like a, um, a, a tour. And yeah, VIP tour. Mm. All their marketing people, he like sent them to our car, said, what can we do for you? They wanted to put some like signage, help us to buy signs and stuff uh -huh. like that. Wow. We, did, we didn't accept that. 
Wonderful. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. I'll just do whatever good, okay? Yes. Uh, what do you mean you don't accept what? Um, they wanted to, because we don't have like, we didn't have proper signs on the back of the cart. Uh -huh. um, so they wanted to pay for that for uh -huh. us. You know, Why not? Just to help us. And uh, I don't know, I didn't want to like accept their... their... Uh, then you can pay a little bit. Or, well, they, they want it also for their own product. It's not like... Uh, They give you uh, something to eat or some money in your pocket, nothing. Right, right. That's a fair deal, you know? Okay. Because the more people buy from you, the more you buy from them. Yep. So it's just like an indirect uh, uh, business advertisement for them as well. Cooperation. So please accept it. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You didn't try to abuse them or anything, understand? And they volunteer, and that's also good for their business, understand? Because they come to you and then you also, they also ask, where did you buy this, buy that? You say, oh yeah, I buy it from Guardian, yeah. for example. You see? Yeah. Very good. Yeah, it's good. Good company. Yeah. Uh, tell them, we, we will work with them. It's very good. Hmm. You see, I don't know, uh, some people just have a very positive spirit. You know, when I look at you, I feel that you're very positive anyway. So the things, it's just positive. You know, things come to you like that. And some people are just so miserable, no matter how hard they try. <laughs> it's not much going on. Yeah, it's, it's very important to have Brian Scheidt people in the restaurant as a manager or as even waiter, waitress. You have to be positive in your heart also. Of course, Mary, we don't have positive, <laughs> that bright people, so we just use other people. But I can see the difference. I just don't say anything only, but I see the difference why one restaurant is more successful and one is not. It's not only location. Thank you, Master. Oh, great. Thank mm? you. Good. That's why you get fat for just... <laughs> <laughs> just make a good example, huh? Look at me, huh? Vegan, look at that, all the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple of us in the cart. It's yeah? funny because there's three guys and we're kind of, you know, Early. Three three men? Yeah, three guys. Working in the same restaurant? Yeah. Who cooks? Hey, yeah? Yeah. My wife designed the menu. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, three of you? Yeah. You, your wife, and him? No, another me, guy? him, and another guy, a young guy. Ah, oh, okay, okay. He's the son of a contact person. Uh-huh, okay. Congratulations. Get going, keep going, okay? We're three friends. Uh, they live nearby each other. Huh? One is... Uh, Waterian. One is uh, raw foodist, and one is uh, breatharian. You know, right? Like the raw foodist, they just eat raw, mm. and the waterian, they just drink water, mm. and the breatharian, they just eat the breath, <laughs> not the bread, uh, the breath. <laughs> okay. And then uh, one day they decided to have a party together, you know, a birthday party. <laughs> so they decide who's going to to host the party, you know. So the the raw food they say, okay, I do it. My house is bigger. Yeah. And then uh, I cook also. <laughs> <laughs> And the waterians say, no nonsense. I cook. <laughs> And the breatharian say, since it's my birthday, I cook. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see the three of them get together and make a party, and if you still like Chinese food, stay away because <laughs> you have nothing to eat there. <laughs> Other people who doesn't like open restaurant can open grocery, we said already. Oh, what was it before just now? Ah, oh, yeah, Delhi. Not butcher. <laughs> the war butcher is already very bad. Okay. Uh, Delhi, huh? Vegan Delhi, huh? Did they say vegan outside or anything? I, I haven't actually seen pictures of the shops, Master. So, mm -hmm. so they've grown so fast they can uh -huh. open them quickly enough. Ah, okay, okay. And um, let's follow Holland's uh, example. My, what a blessed country. So wonderful. Oh. Wow, I'm so happy to hear all this, you know, and uh, Holland is one of the VIP country in Europe, you know, and they're peaceful and they're smart people. They say, God make the world, but uh, <laughs> the Dutch make Holland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have to constantly think of what to do to keep the water out of their country. 
And they are very smart people. They invented many uh, beautiful and wonderful um, new, uh, you know, machine and stuff. Very good. And their bank is one of the top banks of the world even. They're strong, smart people, and now they go vegan. Oh, wonderful people. My God, I do love their queens and consorts and the governments and the people of Holland. Bless them. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah, they have taste, you know, the Holland people. They have good taste. Any from Holland? No? Hmm. How come? <laughs> uh, last time, uh, they, they left, I think. Some have left already. Why did they didn't tell me this? Why I need a British citizen to tell me about Holland, a <laughs> vegan trend? <laughs> there have been some Hollanders before here. Probably too shy, huh? Yes. Okay, any other new idea? Ah, that's wonderful. Now you're spoiled with choice, yeah? And not only you can open a vegan restaurant, loving hurt, you can open loving grocery, loving bocho, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> loving deli. <laughs> oh, vegan ice cream shop as well. That... Also, yes, yes, ice cream shop, vegan cafe, yeah. And vegan snacks, yes. Yes, or vegan, uh, you know, car that go in the flea market. Oh, that will make a lot of money because I saw people come and eat them. Uh, flea market, always uh, people like it because of the atmosphere, you know? And then they go there, they got hungry, so you offer them vegan hot dog and, and, and vegan beer, yeah? And other vegan stuff, vegan tea or vegan coffee. Oh, that's a wonderful paradise. I can see maybe a paradise coming but sooner than we think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, you know, in the beginning when I first meditated for the world and asked every one of you and outside people to meditate for world vegan, world peace, so that the atmosphere of the well, we change and that we can save the planet. I didn't even tell them save the planet, nothing, but it's just indirect, you know? If a world have vegan and the world have peace, then of course we can save the planet. In the beginning, it was very difficult, struggle, and I could not even extend one day. And now, after we extend it to a certain degree, now it goes so fast, so fast. Remember I told you 22 years and, and, and four months? And just a few days later, 41 years and a half. And today, just one, two days after, oh, I'm not telling you. <laughs> yeah, it's go faster now, you know? Just, well, just uh, some more, yeah. <laughs> And it will go faster and faster. It will go to centuries and thousand years and ah. I have to keep myself alive, eh? Yes. Alive. And you keep yourself alive, eh? Continue deep meditation, eh? Yes. In in this direction, in this uh, motive. Yeah, I have to be sincere. Yeah, so we're going to live for a little while longer. So don't hesitate to open vegan deli, vegan cafe, <laughs> vegan flea market car. <laughs> yeah. And uh, vegan tea party, you know. Sometimes invite your neighbors. If you cannot open, just invite neighbors. Hmm? Have a community also, so people are lonely, not too lonely anymore, at least, okay? Just offer them unconditionally free of charge. Yeah? Actually, Master, if you want to do market flea markets, you don't even have to have a cart. You can buy like a little um, canopy tent and you can set up the table and have a gas equipment yes. in there. They allow that and it's a lot... Yeah, but you need the cart to move your stuff there. No, well, you just have a van. <laughs> yeah. Either way. Yeah, it's, same. It's, well, you need a van. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. And then you, you can either open the van out or open extra with the 
cannot be with a few chairs. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and that's all oh, wonderful. I love this kind of atmosphere. I love flea market so much. Whenever I see one, I always run there and just buy any nonsense things, you know, vegetable and anything. They're so happy to sell to you. I told you already, I bought it from, you know, the turnip that they don't even sell in supermarket, but they sell in the flea market. Oh, I was so happy to buy him, and then he gave me one or two for free even, remember? Yeah. We should go to flea market also to help small farmers, eh? A small produce, yeah? Help them thrive, yes. I, sometimes I go there, I just buy anything just to help them, help them out, you know, make them happy. And something, it doesn't have to be expensive, you know, a little towel, a little underwear, something. Uh, some bread, you know, or some vegetable, uh, a few tomatoes here, and go over there, buy a, a cucumber, and go over there, <laughs> just to make them happy, you know? Feel like very active, yes. And they're so happy, even they just sell you a couple of cucumbers, they're so happy, happy, yes. Because I also tell them, oh, it's a good job, you know, very good thing you're doing, and I wish you luck, and wish you continue your business well, and... I really like, you know, your lifestyle and the flea market. I love very much. Where are you going next? And they'll tell me the story of their life. And <laughs> over a cucumber, they'll tell me anything. <laughs> happy, happy. Uh, sometimes I also, I also buy this kind of thing, you know, in the flea market. Yeah? Oh, some fake earring stuff. <laughs> yeah, anything you can buy there. Yeah? Mm. I buy some purses to give it to the neighbor or, or taxi driver or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good idea. My God, you have so many choices now. Quit your job, go open a business. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. You do what you like, okay? But what I mean is it's so exciting, yeah? If I don't have this job, I surely will open a, a, a deli corner or something. Oh, cafe, I love that. You know, serving people, talking to them making them happy and change their life for the better, you know, make them healthy. Oh, isn't that noble and nice and lovely to think even about it? Huh? Yes, I would have loved that job. Yeah. I uh, remember when I was a householder, a housewife, remember, I already teach in a college people to make a vegetarian. Yes. And I invite my neighbors every weekend for, you know, veggie food. And they all love it. I told you the story again and again because I love the story. And after I left, my husband continued the tradition. <laughs> Poor guy, he never cooked. But he got my recipe and he invited everybody and told them how, how nice veggie is. And my, my wife's recipe and everything. Oh, what a guy. Oh, how can I left him? How can I have left him? Yeah, crazy woman. Never mind. And because of you, crazy people. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes customers come into the Loving Hut to order takeaway, and they're waiting a couple of minutes, and they change their mind, and they say, I'll, I'll have it here, I think, because I think they feel the atmosphere yes. and the energy, and they, they don't want to leave. So it's better, yes, yes, yes. They yes, love yes. it, yeah. Of course. One, one lady came in, and both her children, they're very young, but they never want to eat eggs they chose it themselves. They don't want to eat eggs. Mm -hmm. So we gave all the recipes to the vegan cakes that we do. Oh. She was so happy. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. When you open a cafe shop or de deli or a vegan supply shop or um, what was it? A gro yeah, grocery or, or the, with the car for the flea market, you always uh, print some recipes. It doesn't have to be expensive. Just copy it. Even black and white would do. It's you just have all the, the ingredients ready for them. Pick the favorite one and just copy some and give it for free for people to go home and try. Ah, I would love to do all this job. I really would. You know, because I love people so much. I love people outside, you know. When I see them, I just love them. <laughs> I don't know how. Just very simple. You know, when the people come to work at my house, I just love them all. <laughs> And when we go out eat together, you know, it's like I'm with a family. Truly like that. They're so, so friendly, so friendly. And I told you, you know, they came and repair things in my house and take care of, of every detail and think for me, you know. 
I, I have to say that they work even better than some of your brothers that came to do things in my house. They are not as detailed. Maybe they, maybe they, they, they do it lovingly, but not as good as these people because they really don't know who I am. They just really take care so much, <laughs> you know. Like uh, I never, you know, I don't have a phone there. If phone doesn't work in that place, it doesn't work. It just don't work. If you, I want to call, I have to go all the way to the big street. Yeah. So the guy come to me, he said, oh, you can have satellite phone. I look for it for you. And he installed everything. He didn't want to take money. He worried, I think, that he introduced or that he get money. I said, no, no, I have to pay anyway. I must. <laughs> and I just pay him. But think about that, huh? Nobody ever worry about me that much. I said, never mind. I have a mobile phone. I can go out on the big street. You know, I have to walk long distance to the big street. In the mountain, it doesn't have reception. And so he said, I can go there and talk. It's no problem, you know. He said, no, no, but when if you're sick and you have emergency things and how you walk out on the street and when it rains or uh, when uh, you, you're unable to walk, or who knows, or maybe you fall down or something. My God, nobody have ever worried about me that much among you. <laughs> All of you come here just in master help, uh, bless me this and do me that and give me this, give me, give me, give me, give me all the time. Uh, this person, he was really nice. Understand? Mm. Yeah. So I just love them all, you know, even if they're not nice. I just feel the love for them. I just don't know where, I just... Where from? Just love, love. So I imagine if I do this kind of job, you know, the deli stuff or the grocery stuff or restaurant, I would have loved people to bet. I would dance around and tell them, eat that, eat this, it's good for you. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure they would love me too, you know, because we wouldn't know each other, expect nothing from me except for some cookies and some noodles, you know. And then I'd be very, very happy to provide. And I probably would tell them jokes and <laughs> and tell them that if they don't smoke, they will look younger and more sexy. And <laughs> and if they eat this, they will look younger and healthier, you know. And and I would give them tips how to uh, keep their husband, how to <laughs> be loving to their wives, uh, and lovey-dovey talk and stuff, you know. And probably they would love me too, eh? I would have loved that. Instead, I waste all my time with you guys, and you, I don't know if you even practice what I told. Ah, no lovey dovey to wife, nada. Ah, <laughs> with the lousy ones, master. What? With the lousy ones. Yeah. <laughs> the outside people don't have to be told. We do. Yeah, I know they're outside. They're nice. Okay, never mind. But you are nice also. You have different, different aspects. You see, you practice meditation. You go out and help people charitably. You treat animals nicely, you don't eat meat anymore, you see? You keep your moral standard high, the five precepts. You are good in different way. They are good emotional way. You are good morally also. Understand? Yes. Thank you. So sometimes like uh, so many people, they preach also and people cry and all that. But they don't change anything. They continue to eat meat, drink liquor, and smoke, and harm in their own lives. You see what I mean? Maybe I preach you don't cry, but you change your lives. Yeah, understand? And you change the lives of others. And you save many lives. Save their health because of your example. They go vegan, they save their health. And you save many animals from suffering. Do you understand me? So maybe you are not nice to me, but you are a nice person. Yes? Uh, and you, you are very nice in many different ways, and uh, highly elevated ways. Yes? I'm just saying I love outside people, but I love you even more. Don't, don't, make, don't misunderstand. <laughs> You know, it seems maybe I like outside people more, but it's not like that because I don't live with them. You see, I don't have to take care of their emotional problem or anything or their lifestyle. But uh, with you, sometimes I have to scold you because you have to go back to the right way, you know? You you go astray or you forgot or, you know, you 
do not behave. Sometimes you behave less than uh, spiritual practitioners. So I have to remind you. So it seems like I'm more strict to you than outside people, but it's not like that. You only educate your children. You don't educate your na- neighbor's children or <laughs> even the president's children. <laughs> is that right? Yeah? Oh, so that's what it is. Our relationship is different. Yeah, different. But I do love all people outside. I really love them so much. I don't know how to say it. Just love them. So if I imagine if I do the job that you do, you know, in love and hood or grocery or deli or whatever, I would have really loved those people who come. Hmm? Having money or not. Maybe it's not good that I do it because I probably just give them free thing <laughs> for free all the time. <laughs> just like the way we do here and then I probably make no money at all after all <laughs> at the end. <laughs> okay. I love you, Master. దయ కలిగిన వీక్షకులారా మీ సహచర్యము మేము అభినందిస్తున్నాము నేడు మీకోసం గురువు మరియు శిష్యుల మధ్య ఇచ్చిన స్వర్గం త్వరలో వస్తుంది మనం అనుకున్న దానికన్నా ముందుగా పేరుగల ఉపన్యాసము ఎపిసోడ్ పార్ట్ త్రీ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ వేచి ఉండండి సుప్రీం మాస్టర్ టెలివిజన్ మరింత సానుకూల ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ కోసం తదుపరి వస్తుంది ఫ్రమ్ ది ఫిలాసఫీ ఆఫ్ సోక్రటీస్ మెనో ప్లాటో పార్ట్ టూ ఆఫ్ టూ వివేకం యొక్క పదాలు మీద దైవిక సత్యము మరియు అందము మన జీవితాల్లో ఎప్పుడూ ఉండుగాక మే డివైన్ ట్రూత్ అండ్ బ్యూటీ బి అవర్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ అవర్ లైఫ్ మరెన్ని వివరాల కోసం దయచేసి సందర్శించండి సుప్రీం మాస్టర్ టీవీ డాట్ కామ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ స్లాష్ బిఎండి